In Hinduism, an avatar is a deity's descent to earth to restore cosmic order. Vishnu, the preserver god, has ten principal avatars, Dashavatara, including Rama and Krishna. Reincarnation, a key concept, involves the soul cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, samsara. The concept of rebirth is as ancient and several fictional media have adopted this like Indra and Ashura from Naruto, but in this video we are going to see the versus match between two characters who can pass on their knowledge and power to their successor and have the knowledge from the previous users of their power set. Aang vs. Deku Mockingly nicknamed Deku by childhood classmate and former bully Katsuki Bakugo, Izuku would later save him from a villain in turn winning over the interest of All Might, Izuku's childhood idol and number one hero, who in turn passes down his sacred, one for all quirk to him. But before that we need to learn about quirks, quirks are abnormalities within the human race that became a big part of society. About 80% of the population can utilize a quirk. A quirk is innate to the quirk holder's body. It can also be referred to as individuality. In some exceptionally rare cases, Animals can also develop quirks. Quirks can give powers or change your appearance, and each individual quirk can have different side effects similar to that of X gene from Marvel or Devil Fruits from One Piece. One for All is a unique quirk that allows the user to stockpile power and transfer it to others. It originated from the combination of a quirk that could stockpile energy and a quirk that could transfer itself to others. This power grows stronger with each successive user as they add their own strength to it. One for All grants its wielder superhuman strength, speed, agility, and durability, as well as access to the accumulated abilities of previous users. It is a central element of the series, symbolizing the legacy of heroism and the ongoing battle against its counterpart, All for One, which can steal and bestow quirks. The user can also talk to the previous users of the quirk. The first user, Yuichi Shigaraki, who was the younger brother of All for One and initially had a weak quirk that could transfer power. Second user of One for All, a scar-faced vigilante who was the leader of a resistance force against All for One during the peak of his power. He initially planned to kill Yoichi due to his connection to the villain but had a change of heart and chose to rescue him from imprisonment alongside his apprentice. In thanks, Yoichi passed on his power to him, which was when One for All was truly born. He originally possessed the quirk gear shift which allowed him to manipulate how fast something traveled through space while ignoring the laws of inertia. The third user of One for All, the sidekick of the second user Kudu whom the former passed One for All to. He assisted Kudu in his assassination attempt on Yoichi before choosing to rescue him from imprisonment. He has the quirk Fajin, which allows the user to build up kinetic energy before releasing it in a burst to give a boost in speed of power. Haikid Shinomori, the fourth user, who his original quirk was Danger Sense, allowing the user to sense danger at the expense of causing them pain. Daigoro Banjo, the fifth user, who wielded the Black Whip quirk, N, the sixth user, who used the Smoke Screen quirk, Nana Shimura, the seventh user and mentor to All Might, who had the Float quirk, Tashinori. Yagi, known as All Might, the eighth user and the most famous wielder who brought peace to society, and Izuku Midoriya, the current and ninth user, who inherited the quirk directly from All Might and is learning to master its full potential. Each user added their unique abilities and experiences, enhancing one for all's power for the next generation. He was strong enough to move washing machines and fridges even before getting the quirk and the average washing machine weighs around 70 kilograms and a standard top freezer refrigerator with a capacity of around 18 cubic feet weighs approximately 200 to 300 pounds or 90 to 136 kilograms. During the entrance exams he was able to destroy a large mech with one punch and during the first class he was strong enough to throw the ball at speed of 498.73 meters per second or 1.45 times speed of sound. Then we have Bakugo versus Deku and Bakugo could destroy building floors which are about 4.12 kg of TNT and during Hero Sports Festival, Todoroki used heaven piercing ice wall which stood beyond the stadium and the energy to freeze that much amount would be around 264.36 kilotons of TNT or large town level and Deku was equal to this. 
All the movies are canon to the manga as several characters would later be shown in the manga and the top movie feet scaling would put him around 304.135 kilotons. And during forest training camp, he fought muscular and needed over a million percent to knock him down while during the vigilante arc, he was able to blitz him with full cowling, making his strength around 6.76 gigatons of TNT or island level. Shigaraki is also strong as he was able to withstand the force of 10 ICBM, the maximum yield of a state-of-the-art intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, can vary significantly depending on the specific model and the country that developed it. However, some of the most powerful ICBMs, such as Russia's RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan II, are reported to have a yield of up to 50 megatons of TNT and the total yield would be around 500 megatons of TNT. During their final fight, Deku punched so hard that he cleared flamogenitus that was so big that could affect the weather in America, and in order to do that the cloud should be at least covering all of Japan. The total land area of the Japanese territory is about 378,000 square kilometers. The height, or vertical extent, of a flamogenitus, pyrocumulus, cloud can vary significantly. Generally, these clouds can have a vertical height ranging from a few hundred meters to several kilometers. On average, their height might be around 3,000 to 6,000 meters, 10,000 to 20,000 feet, but in extreme conditions, such as intense wildfires, they can reach vertical heights of up to 10,000 meters, about 32,800 feet, or more which would means the total volume would be around 3,780,000 cubic kilometer. The energy required to disperse would be around 2.46 teratons of TNT or small country level. Deku is fast enough to dodge sniper bullets, which would be around 3,060 kilometers per hour, but his true speed lies within Fajin which allows the user to build up kinetic energy before releasing it in a burst to give a boost in speed of power, and quirk gear shift which allowed him to manipulate how fast something traveled through space while ignoring the laws of inertia. By increasing the speed while ignoring the law of inertia is a deadly combination, but to understand this we need to understand physics. Newton's first law of motion, or the law of inertia, states that an object with mass will remain at rest or continue moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by an external force. This means that objects don't change their state of motion on their own. A force must cause any change. In the hypothetical scenario where an object can ignore the law of inertia, the maximum speed it could travel would not be fundamentally limited by any physical laws. This is because inertia, as a property of mass, is crucial in determining how objects respond to forces and how they maintain their state of motion. Without inertia, objects could change their velocity instantaneously without requiring any force. This means they could accelerate to any speed instantaneously or decelerate to a stop just as quickly. The concept of a speed limit, such as the speed of light in a vacuum approximately 300 million meters per second, is tied to relativistic physics where mass and energy are interrelated. Inertia is a fundamental part of this relationship. Without inertia, the constraints imposed by relativity might not apply in the same way. Since inertia is tied to how we currently understand energy and momentum, if an object ignored inertia, it could theoretically achieve any speed, including those far exceeding the speed of light. However, such speeds contradict our current understanding of physics and imply a realm of new, undefined physics. Therefore, in a world without inertia, there would be no inherent maximum speed for an object. It could hypothetically travel at infinite speed or any arbitrary speed instantaneously, as there would be no resistance or force required to change its state of motion. This would result in a universe with fundamentally different physical laws from those we understand today. Therefore, Deku can travel faster than speed of light or even infinite speed. Deku has proven to be exceptionally intelligent on many occasions, displaying keen observational and analytical skills as well as sharp intuition and resourcefulness. His grades are among the highest of his class, showing that his one for all training rarely interferes with his studying. Aang, the protagonist of Avatar, the last airbender, 
is a young and courageous air nomad who embodies the spirit of peace and balance. As the last surviving airbender and the avatar, he holds the responsibility of mastering all four elements, air, water, earth, and fire, to bring harmony to a world plagued by conflict. Despite his immense power, Aang is characterized by his playful nature, deep compassion, and unwavering commitment to his friends and the greater good. His journey is not only about mastering elements, but also about growing into his role as a leader and understanding his place in the world. Book 2 Aang was already displaying some explosive power as he created a mushroom cloud in his rage this happens after Appa was stolen. Appa could see the mushroom cloud, and with the distance we could see the cloud is around 1.27 kilometer high, and to displace that much amount of sand it would take over 898.66 kilotons of TNT. In the comics after the Ozai defeat, Aang was able to lift the entire city in his avatar state, and by calculating the size of the city and depth of the crater, force it would require to lift it would be around 3.08 megatons of TNT or small city level. But he might be holding back here since his greatest foe Ozai intend to use his comet-enhanced firebending against the Earth Kingdom. In fact, Ozai intended to burn everything between the Western Earth Kingdom and Ba Sing Se, and he had begun to do so until he fought and lost to Aang. Ba Sing Se would have a population around 206 million people, to sustain a population of approximately 206 million people, the city would contain around 282,550 city blocks, distributed among residential, commercial, industrial, public services, and green spaces. This rough estimate provides a general idea of the scale of the urban planning required for such a massive population. And Ozai can burn all of it making his power around 3.11 megatons of TNT. The Avatar State is combination of his power and Rava, also known as the Great Spirit of Light and Peace. Rava's fusion with Wan is what created the Avatar Spirit and allows the Avatar to wield all four elements. She is also the embodiment of light and peace and the opposite of Vatu who battles her counterpart once every 10,000 years. Unless both one of them was permanently contained, light and darkness cannot exist without each other. Even if one of them wins, the victor can't destroy the other as their counterpart will emerge from within their self again after 10,000 years, while an avatar gains the wisdom of previous avatar but the strength is from the Rava which would make sense since even the first avatar one can go avatar state without any predecessor. While Vatu, said to have capable of bringing annihilation to both physical and spiritual world, or at least capable of destroying all life on it, plunging it into darkness, but Avatar One defeated him during Harmonic Convergence, a supernatural phenomenon that occurs once every 10,000 years. When the planets align, spiritual energy is greatly amplified, causing the spirit portals at the North and South Poles to merge, while an aura of spirit energy envelopes the Earth. During this event, Rava and Vatu engage in a battle that determines the fate of the world until the next Harmonic Convergence. However, after Rava merge with Wan, becoming the Avatar spirit. It became the Avatar's duty to battle Vatu in the spirit world near the two portals that connect the two poles of the physical world. Aang would not scale to one fighting Vatu, but his Avatar state should at least give him around four times boost and making his power around 12 megatons of TNT or city level. Aang can run on water. To run on water, you would have to be able to run three times as fast as Usain Bolt can on dry land. Bolt reached a top speed of 43.99 km per hour, so it would take over 132 km per hour. But the fastest Aang has done is redirect lightning blast from Ozai, who from a distance around 7.32 meter, which would make his speed around 297,000 km per hour. As an avatar, Aang has abilities such as airbending. As an air nomad, Aang excels in airbending, allowing him to manipulate air currents for offensive and defensive maneuvers, as well as enhanced agility and speed, and became an airbending master, the youngest in history. Aang achieved his mastery tattoos when he mastered 35 of the 36 tiers of airbending and invented a new airbending technique, the air scooter, at only 10 years old. Under the tutelage of Katara, Aang learns to control water, enabling him to manipulate it in various forms such as liquid, ice, and steam, 
and to heal injuries. Aang showed prodigious skill in waterbending, being able to easily create a huge wave on his first try. Although he had great skill with waterbending, it was one of his least used elements in battle, instead favoring other readily available elements such as earth or air. He did not carry a water skin, preferring to bend from large sources of water such as rivers, lakes, or oceans. Taught by Toph Beifong, Aang masters earthbending, granting him the ability to control earth and rock, providing him with powerful offensive and defensive capabilities. Earthbending even became Aang's second most used fighting style behind airbending due to its general availability. Aang was capable of bending large boulders, sending massive columns of rock flying, or forming earthen armor around his body for protection. He also eventually learned to fight and bend blindfolded by detecting things through the use of seismic sense, a skill that he learned directly from Toph. Due to his pacifistic nature, Ng employed a more defensive style of earthbending based on manipulating the earth to create walls, shelters, and restraints to neutralize his opponents rather than harm them. Ng learns firebending from Zuko, allowing him to generate and manipulate fire for combat and various practical uses. Aang was capable of performing the ancient dancing dragon form, the breath of fire while simultaneously firing a stream from both hands, as well as highly powerful kicks and blasts able to incapacitate a Fire Nation airship, albeit with the help of Sozin's comet. In preparation for his face-off with Fire Lord Ozai, Zuko taught Aang lightning redirection, a highly advanced and unique technique of firebending that Zuko's paternal uncle Iroh invented by observing waterbenders. Energy bending is a rare and ancient technique. Energy bending allows Aang to bend the energy within oneself, which he uses to take away or restore bending abilities. Beyond traditional air bending, Aang achieves true flight using air currents, allowing him to navigate the skies without the aid of a glider. Aang has a strong connection to the spirit world, allowing him to communicate with spirits, gain wisdom from past avatars, and access spiritual insights and abilities. Aang's training as an air nomad provides him with exceptional agility, reflexes, and acrobatic skills, making him a highly evasive and nimble fighter. While Aang is skilled enough to control all four elements and sub-elements like blood bending and energy bending, but Deku is far stronger and potentially a lot faster with his plausible infinite speed. Aang energy bending can come in handy and like Chakra if he could interact with quirks and try to take it away like he could do with bending but one for all can only be given not forcibly taken and blood bending can be only done during full moon with the exception of Amon, so there are no possible wind conditions for Aang to fight against and his pacifist nature will be a hindrance in his overall performance but Deku is a lot. Experienced and fought many element-based quirk and can come up with. Counter on the fly, so the winner is Deku.